Welcome back to another part of Remnant 2. If you do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. Alrighty then, so we just literally just finished one of the segments. And we are off to the next segment over here. It was a pretty tough quest, to be honest. The first segment was not a joke. Also, now that we are a little bit more familiar with how this weapon works... resistant well at least that's over <laughs> so yeah within this part we most probably will still go to the old guy listen to more of his stories uh, it's most probably very important for us to do stuff like this I thought we we're gonna hand in that segment thingy we got at, uh, back at that eye, but clearly that's not the main quest right now. We just have to enter all these uh, side doors, get to different worlds and stuff, so we'll do that. Ooh, this place looks interesting. Whoa, dude. We are getting through this game shockingly nicely. Anything like this before. Got a chest here. What was that? Relic dust. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, are you okay, bro? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Are you hurt? Those foreign to the pound have not been seen upon Yesha for long, long. Are you all right? The past ones takes me. Or is it now simply part of what I am? It's been so long. The difference hardly matters. But the Paxel attack. How comes it here, to Asia? I came from Earth using a kind of giant red crystal. A red crystal? I have seen them in my restless slumber. The pestilence think of them often, especially the stones of the Paxotex Earth. I am Bidel of the Vaunt. When this world was young, the pan did service to the green and growing things. Now, the pan betrays the world. And the world, the wolf, betrays the pan. You mentioned a wolf? That's not a metaphor, is it? Because I'm a I'm after powerful beasts. The ravager, plague of the pan and defiler of the doe. The wolf hunts all, yet is itself unhunted. To the shame of all pan. Once part of the balance, the immortal ravager has cast aside this world and pledged fealty to the pestilence that would destroy all worlds. And the Red Doe, that which held the Ravager in check for long and long, has not been seen in an age. If it seeks to save its own life and world, the Pazotek must hunt the Ravager and end it. I'll do what I can. The beast is not alone. The Lamir have given themselves to it in service. Once servants of the Eternal Empress, Many Lamir have been seduced by the Ravager's blood-soaked tongue, and thus betrayed the Pan. Beware, Baxotak. They will fight until the beast's final breath. Sounds dangerous. More than it can imagine, Baxotak. I'd like to ask you some more questions now. Uh, what do you trade? Perhaps. 
Money is of little use to me for obvious reasons, but others may find value in what the Paxultek may leave behind. Take what it will, Paxultek, but leave something it considers of equal value. A sacrifice to the balance, and a gift to the balance. Stunning rings here prevents root rot. Uh, resistics? Well, I don't know. I don't, what? Res, uh, res tricks? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Wear from healing above 50% HP or 50% of their maximum health and reduce all incoming damage by 10%. Gain 20% uh, to all damage when health is below 100. I gain haste when below 50. Ah, a worthy home for a worthy bubble. Let the Paxotec's own generosity brighten the sun herself. Not a big fan of what he's selling. I also, like... I, I love the rings that we currently have, so... Man, this place is gorgeous. It really is nice. Makes me think of Elden Ring Tree and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty awesome. Pretty big fan of this game so far. And I hope you guys are also, man. We're planning to finish as many games as we can on this channel. So yeah, we're gonna fight. It looks like trees here. It's like snake trees, the best way, snake roots, somewhat. Not, not a hundred percent a tree, but it's somewhat in that area. My dog just wrecked this mini boss. Not even a joke. Damn. Is it over? My dog is gonna kill that thing now. <laughs> nice. No idea what that is. We can go upstairs here. Just money, I guess. We also have so much heals, it's not even a joke. Um, I really, really, really love my build at the moment. I think this is really OP. It kind of makes me sad that I didn't choose higher difficulty, but at the same time, I feel like the difficulty is, is hard enough. We have another big, big guy. And two of them. So these guys are not really mini bosses then. Okay, looks like we'll go up here first. Because this could lead to another dead end. But maybe some loot. We got a chest. Okay, we got some scrap there with some dust. Dust is always useful. Upgrading our relics. We'll go over there. There's enemies. Oh, shit. I don't know what that is. It's maybe just some like poisonous explosive that will do some damage.
We have a big guy again. She sounds so concerning when she asks that. Like, it doesn't matter if it's over. If it's not, we'll just kill more. At the moment. Later it might be different, though. Later it might be hotter. They will hope it's over, that's for sure. Okay, so there's something blue over here. Here they come. thing is, if we fight here the whole time, we can just keep the negative buff on this thing. Wait, I could just hit it, dude. Doggy, can you help me? No, the dog will not attack us. Here we go. More enemies, I guess. Wait a minute. Look at this lifesteal we're getting, dude. This is stupid. Oh, hi there. This is Game over, bro. For you. Almost half HP, then I think it will spawn more. Well, oh, this is so cool. Look at this damage numbers coming up. Look at my health regen. This is lifesteal, dude. Oh, hi there. That might be better, using the mod on this gun. Oh, 
That's a lot of damage. Blood bond. Did my character just laugh? What is this blue thing? Craft. Ooh. Ooh, dude. You need uh, Blood Moon Essences and you can craft like the full gear. It's pretty nice gear, actually. It seems a little bit on the heavier side of, of things, to be honest. It gives a melee weapon. Nice. Uh, increase range and melee lifesteal by 3.5% of the base damage. Increase damage taken by 10%. Last 60 minutes and will stay in effect after death. That is not bad at all. Uh, gain a stack of bulwark uh, for each active summon. Summoning increases all damage dealt by 20%. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Is this it? Is this the summoner thing? You can unlock the summoner... Um, I think this is where you unlock the summoner. The summoner class. I think the quest is done here, by the way. Oh, there's something purple in here. Here we go. New omelette. Is the omelette a necklace? Yeah. So we have gain 30% damage bonus every 5 seconds, switches between physical and elemental damage. And we got spending at least 30% of firearms magazine to deal damage, increases melee damage. And it stacks up 5 times. That is not what we want. So I think over there you can actually unlock the summoner... Uh, the, the summoner's story or whatever. Uh, class. We're not going to unlock the class. Uh, we don't care too much about the summoner. This will only be a single playthrough anyway. We're not going to do new game pluses and stuff like that. Uh, so my second, my second class that I want is going to be the gunslinger. And the reason being is because it increases your weapon damage. The only other class I would, I would maybe like also is the slow movement speed class um but it's more melee this place gives me the creeps it's more melee dependent the twisted tra chantry mm. it looks evil it looks very evil indeed pretty much love the atmosphere uh we have another checkpoint right below us uh, this place's location level is level 9. So we are on the right level. So the enemies here shouldn't be too hard. Uh, new amulet again. So let's just see what we get. Uh, increase all damage dealt by 30% when the wearer's health is below 50%. We're almost never going to be below 50%. Yeah, yeah, I thought that thing is going to explode. So... Oof. That's just a dead end right there.
So I think uh, these explosives guys don't do damage when they explode. They do do the damage when they explode. We got a tome there, which is nice. Absolutely wrecked. Still full HP without healing. <laughs> Dude, this build is this build is definitely insane. Love it, man. Bruh. Got an explosion guy here. Come get some. Get him, doggy. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, let's see, what do we have here? That's over. That's a big chest. Loot popping out at, <laughs> at both sides. Wait, more bad news. Where's the bad news? There's a big guy somewhere. There it is. So we can go that way or this way. I think this way is just like a circular or, or square arena type healing. There's an enemy down there. Okay, this is it. Is there any loot up here? Seems like this guy will keep spawning uh, allies. The problem is I can't get to him. I can't get to him because, like, there's stuff keep exploding in front of him. Oh, never mind, he's dead. So nothing come up that said why we can't open that door. I expected something saying that... Damage absorbed. We'll take this, whatever it is. Oh, it didn't work. Take it now quickly.
1% of damage taken by caster. Archetype summons. Archetypes, archetype summons. What the? Skill cooldown. I don't know, it feels like... Yeah, we'll just keep on lifesteal, guys. We'll just keep on with lifesteal. Uh, the reason being is because... Lifesteal is gonna be just the strongest thing versus the bosses. Oh, there's something here. No? There's an enemy behind us. I was like, where the heck is this music coming from? All right, let's do this. What? What do you want to do? Enemies here. Corsed iron. All righty then. Okay, we got a, a point here, a TP point, a checkpoint, that's pretty good. No idea, looks like a white wall, could be a boss fight coming up. That is a very good, very good. Let's see what we're dealing with. I'm ready, are you ready? Here we go. Goodness, this looks so evil. I love the design, dude. It seems like we can't hit it. Look at that regen. Look at our health regen. This is stupid. Just heal here if we can. If the game allows me to. Maybe can do something. 
Okay, boss fight completed. We got a stick. You know, if this was South Park... The, if this was South Park, it would be Stick of Truth. But instead we got a, a, dra a dar Driftwood. <laughs> Fine. Fine, we'll take it. We didn't inspect this whole place, though. I believe. What a unique boss fight, right? It has like a mirror flying, and if you attack the mirror, you can't see. If you attack the female, you do way less damage. Uh, pretty different. What did we get there? Uh, we got some more relic dust. We also have another point of trade available. Bro, I think this finished lifesteal. Just finished lifesteal. I think that's gonna be the best thing to do. If we end up with like 6% lifesteal, just imagine. Just imagine. We will never die. What game am I, am I, am I thinking of right now? I think it's Overwatch, right? Heroes never die. Something like that, I think. Okay, man. Oh, this place is so beautiful. It's so nice. Um, were we here before? Ah, okay. So we went through this whole place now. Sucks that we didn't we didn't in, uh, inspect this whole place before it took us to another one. I hear more enemies. What do you mean it's over? Are you like blind or? Whoa. Seems like a different kind of enemy. Uh, there's a chest here that we missed. Thank you, minimap. I appreciate that. So there's two ways to run. Uh, we're gonna run to the left here. Check what's here. What e what is it? Pretty much looks like nothing. The doggy is too strong. Oh. Still don't know what that does, though. Yeah. Sounds like a bigger enemy coming. Did we run up here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, she just said it. She said, yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you for that. A free tome of knowledge that I would have missed. Okay, so now we're just gonna run down again. Bruh. Bruh. Let's see where this is taking us. Another big enemy. We 
way easier. Well, at least that's over. Okay, so we can run above or below. Um. So, whoa, what? What? This looks weird. No, it's just my imagination. Life is your creation. This is I know, right? Yeah. I should have been a singer. Instead of a let's play master. <laughs> Someone's playing music, dude. This is so cool. We'll go check it out soon. I saw on the map it's a blue mark. So it should be a friendly. Then stop. It is here. Why are you stopping, dude? Friend Paxultek, it returns. I've never been here before. <laughs> but of course it has. Long ago the Paxultek and I spoke of songs and Ah, of course. It is not the same Paxultek. Forgive me. The horns, it does not have them. <laughs> A new friend then. Hmm? So what brings it to beleaguered Yesha? I need, a, I need to find a powerful creature. Truly? Then it treads the very path it seeks. The ancient temple was built to imprison such a beast. It now serves as its lair. Alas, the great water heart which tales tell once opened the temple has been shattered for an age and an age. There is no hope without its song. Yet beware, friend Paxultek, for the Ravager has been killed before. There is none more powerful than that which shakes off death like fallen leaves. The florist. Of course. Uh, you said you met another pa Paxulteku. Quite so. Paxultek have graced this world for generations. The elder, the one it calls for. The destroyer, to whom many faces fell. The wanderer, who faced the ravager and lived. Alas. Songs are not song of Paxultek, but I am blessed to have met many. Its what? kind bring this one joy and song. What are you doing here? I seek hope, friend Paxultek. Yaisha is broken. Corruption waxes while the tree wanes. The balance groans in pains of birth, yet through it all. The song of Aphir has hung in the air. One could always hear it in the wind and water, sand and star. I came to the temple hoping to hear its melodies once more, not on the wind, but in plain truth as it was meant to be. Alas, I fear the song is lost forever, destined to live in memory alone. What more can you tell me about the Ravenger? There is much to tell, though, alas, I am no scholar. Suffice to say, the Ravager and Do are the heart of this world. The very essence of the balance. The Do is life, the Ravager, death. Each necessary in equal measure, if the Lamir to be believed. Yet now, the Ravager serves the rot, the corruption that ingests Yesha piece by piece with each passing day. I do not know what will become of our mother, but I trust the songs. So long as we have music, we have hope. What can you tell me about the water harp? Ah, a tragic tale woven into many ballads. The story of the Water Harp is the story of Yesha and the Balance. It is the story of the Pan. The Great Wolf, the Ravager, decimated our people. 
It was said that it could not be killed, for to do so would upset the balance and bring upon us even worse calamities. So the harp was fashioned to soothe the beast with music. And soothe it did, but only for a time. The beast escaped, silencing the harp in the process, ending its song for long and long. How did the beast escape? The beast is chaos, and the balance ineluctable. The balance does not concern itself merely with life and death, love and hate, freedom, suppression. The balance governs all. Hear the wind, friend Paxultek. It sings to us all. Thank you. Pretty awesome dialogue there. Some more info about the beast we have to kill. Dude, if it's this big, then I'll just run. It will just one bite you. Okay. That's a dead end. Back to the song. It's so cool. This is very scary. This looks important. It looks important, but what do you do? So there's strings attached. Can't really see any shapes of any kind anywhere. I don't know if his song has anything to do with like... Hmm, this looks important. Okay. For argument's sake, let's just hear how it sounds. So there's... There's no sound. I think we need some, like some sort of book somewhere that will maybe show us. It could be right above us also. It could also be in this next uh, dungeon. Okay, so somehow we have to get there. So that's a checkpoint. Let's just run here first. Let's see what's up here. It sounds pretty evil, but I don't see any enemies. Getting some noise loot. We're gonna use everything eventually. Especially to upgrade our weapons. Make it even stronger. Maybe even our melee weapon will upgrade. Because the only one I'm not a, a fan of is our ranged weapon. Okay, so we have a different location here. Um, We'll check this out. Dude, I'm... 
I'm enjoying this game so much. Like, you get lost in this world. It's it's so nice. Obviously, we'll grab the checkpoint. So these golden doors, if you guys don't know, it's actually called dungeons. It is a dungeons. Okay, we almost are full life still. I think after life still, we'll most probably could just go like damage reduction. Something along that line. So it looks like nothing here for us to do. Loot would have been showing up there since we were that close. I will go this side. Check if there's any loot here. here we go. Goodness, that doggy dude. <laughs> Uh, that's over. <laughs> the doggy was like, no, you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna charge us. Not today, son. Okay, we got some relic dust there, that's pretty nice. Just want to make sure that we are linking the Fog of War, technically. So we know which direction we should go. If we ever do get lost. I hope there's another boss fight coming up, guys. Like, I, I really enjoy the boss fights in this game so far. Uh, there's a checkpoint here. Here they come. Rough. What? Bro, oh, you, you use three bullets. Whoa! Stupid. That was a lot of damage we, we took there. Is this a chest now? No, it was not. Ooh. We got a ring. We'll check out this ring very soon. We have another chest here. What the heck was that? That was crazy. Hearing enemies. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's check out this ring. We also have a necklace. Let's see what, what it is. Uh, increase all damage dealt by 30% when the wearer is below 50% HP. That is a no from me, dog. Firearms uh, automatically regenerates 8 mod. Uh, let's check out this one. Increase consumable and relic use speed by 20%. Bro, that is extremely useful. Firearms range, useful. Increase... Firearm swap speed and reload speed, useful. Automatically generates mod. So we're gonna change it then. If we can increase the speed that we heal... I feel like that's the only flaw we still have on our character. Something sounds nice. Oh, 
That is just way too much damage, bro. That is just way too much damage. Look at our HP. <laughs> I don't know what to say more, man. Like, this is just dumb. This build is, like, dumb, uh, broken. We got some loot here. We'll grab it. Yeah. A little building we can inspect. Bruh. Oil skin? What the? What the heck? Yeah. Nice swing you got there. Yeah. Nice swing you got there again. <laughs> oh my goodness. seem like anything there other than an enemy that just want to quickly get one hit so there's a bridge here now uh, let's let's just run around it feels like they are protecting something these birdies And get some. That's it. <laughs> For now. They are not protecting anything. Watch out. Don't damage me, please. Run. No, deer. Okay, I killed the deer by mistake. I'm sorry. It walked into my explosion. It walked into my explosion and just died. Oh, it's a yellow door. Oh, we have a quest here. Mmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's head, I guess. Our main quest is in this location. That's pretty nice that we figured it out. I I actually thought, like, no jokes, all jokes aside. I actually thought our main quest is at uh, that big tree that we destroyed. But that would have been too easy. That would have been way too easy. Uh, we're going to teleport quickly to Ward 13. Uh, we're going to check if the old man has some quests or some dialogue for us. I'm going to also try and upgrade the pistol even more. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, we can't upgrade the pistol. We need we need this iron stuff. Be safe out there. You again. What did you bring me? Uh, let's see here. A uh, weapon mod. I uh, calls forth an eye legion to the gauge. Fargazer. Fargazer weapon mod. So we need to check this out. Gas giant melee weapon. So we got another melee weapon here. I uh, went infused. Charge attack. Critical hit chance is 3%. Weak spot damage is 95%. <laughs> 
Stagger modifier is 8%. Dealing damage unleashes a dormant toxic gas within the head. When infused, basic attack supply corroded for five seconds. Whoa. This has a charge on this weapon? Far Gazer mod. So your damage is 74. So... Yay, you're back. So this weapon is actually stronger. So we'll craft it. We're finished here. Yes, that's for sure. You don't want business. So we'll unequip that. Uh, we're gonna equip this one. Nice. Not that that is ever gonna matter. And the reason being is because we almost never will be below. Fifty percent HP. Careful now. My answers are known to lead to more questions. You're the best audience I've had in a long while. I tell you what, but my tail telling tongue ain't as young as it used to be. I best give it a break for now. Yeah, that really sucks because we can't unlock our our second mod yet. Is it? No, it's not called mod class. Can't unlock our second class yet. Which is the gunslinger. We're just gonna keep on talking to him un until it eventually unlocks, dude. What the hell happened here? I don't even know how to pronounce this. Kayola's Kayol Rest? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh my goodness. They want you to have no movement speed. So there is places shallow enough to actually be running. Okay, this way, I guess. Whoa, that dodge though. Whoa. It's over. The chest right here. We're gonna try and get it. Well, I mean the entrance is right here, it's not even hidden. Relic dust. That's a lot of damage, my friend. Wow, look how much we heal. Did you guys see how much we healed? I'm gonna give you a little example. 
Look at my HP. Look at it now, after one hit. Just keep, just keep an eye on this HP bar. <laughs> this is next level healing, dude. What is this? We found a temple key. What is it? Right hole. When I reload, it sounds like an enemy is busy spawning or something. But yeah, just just keep your eye on my HP bar quickly. When there's enemies. Oh. Okay, we don't want to go there just yet. No, we have to. Okay, that is where we have to be. This isn't looking good. <laughs> now imagine this HP bar <clears throat> fighting a boss that spawns little minions. Like, you, you don't have to heal at all. Like, you're just full HP the whole time. I want to check if my doggy attacks... Oh, I can't, because we're full HP now. Okay, I want to see if the doggy attacks, do we heal? Bro, we do. This HP bar fighting a boss. <laughs> well, it's not a boss, it's a mini boss. I should check. Come get some. We, we are healing just because we're in combat. So it's not because the dog is attacking. This is a tome. Yeah. Lol. Ooh, that's over. So another, another tome of trades there. Okay, that's okay. So we'll just uh, head upstairs. Yeah. But we can, so we need to use the ladder. But the cool thing is also the map is actually showing you everything you need to know about information you need, right? Most of the time. I wanted to come this way. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. The, the, okay, let's let me just rephrase this. The map is giving you enough information to just get by. <laughs> I think that will be better explained. We're gonna drop through that hole because we don't know what is there. They come. Yeah, bro. When I'm below 50% HP, just pull out your weapon. You do 50% more damage. That's it? Yeah, that's it. What, you want more damage? Jeez. Be a little bit impressed, woman. Huh. 
Looks like nothing is here. I uh, don't think we can climb back up. No, we can. So yeah, when you're low HP, just pull out your, your melee weapon and attack. Because your life skill will be like up through the roof. Is that another big boss somewhere? Or mini boss? This is leading back, yeah? Here they come. Oh, there's a purple item here. Glad, glad we came this way. Another ring, Soul Link. That's it <laughs> for now. This item is in the floor. Let's check what is Soul Link. But I don't even think like all these rings that we have is like perfect for our build. Like this is the only weak one, maybe. Summons Life Steal. 5% of base damage dealt, which returns to the wearer as health. Summons lifesteal. Maybe we don't have to heal then. So we'll, <laughs> we'll replace our healing healing speed with 5% lifesteal. <laughs> oh, dude. With low HP, just pull out this weapon. The only, the only problem with our build at the moment is that we're not getting enough uh, mod mod generator generation speed. I like that. So let's go. Off HP, one hit. Bro, we are broken OP. I want to get to the center so that I can actually walk. We are broken OP, guys. Because you know why? Because he's dead. We apply poison with melee attacks as well. Look at the green damage. He's gonna spawn now. He's dead with just poison, watch. <laughs> How's that, huh? You ain't so tough. Yeah, you ain't so bad. <laughs> nice. 
Dude, this is this is not fit. This is ridiculous. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Wait, there's a chest here. Almost ran past it. Stamina, new relic fragment. No thanks. I feel like stuff like this you should have received a lot sooner in the game. We have two traits available, man. Like, what the heck? And there we go. 3% lifesteal. We have a 5% lifesteal as well ring. So what do we do now? Like, I don't know. I don't know if AoE's size actually helps the weapon that we're using. That is the problem here. If I know it does, this will be the next thing I go up with. But I don't. So I think the next best thing would be health. Mud power generation. Mud power. This could also be good because we we can't we can't use a ring. A ring with slots is full of lifesteal and HP and damage and reload speed. So we'll take this. I just can't believe how strong we are. This melee weapon also doing overtime damage. I think you lifesteal from that as well. Which makes it absolutely devastating. Uh, there's a path below us. Okay, we can go there. I don't know if we can go into the water and we'll be fine. Like we were just now. It seems like it. There must be something here. Forged iron. I think we're past uh, the forged iron uh, when it comes to upgrading this pistol. Unfortunately. And I don't know what the next thing is we will upgrade. Okay, we're gonna go and grab this loot here. Oh, it's it looked like loot, but it wasn't. Maidra. We'll, we'll check that out very soon. Well, actually, in the next episode, guys. So, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It does help a lot. Subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next one. Love you, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.